Thanks for watching AM Northwest. Do you want to tap into your creative side or maybe show the world a more organized version of you? Then try Fashion Feng Shui. Here to show us how, we welcome the author of Your Colors Speak, uh, Your Clothes Speak, excuse me, Your Clothes Speak, Image Consultant, Carol Parker Walsh. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Good and actually, we talk about colors because that's part of it as well, right? Yes. Your clothes yes. and the colors you choose. Absolutely. So explain what Fashion Feng Shui is. Yeah, Fashion Feng Shui is an empowering and innovative dressing technique that borrows its principles from feng shui, which as we know is the Chinese art of placement, right. that talks about when you place things in your home or living environment or working environment that are in harmony and balance, that you'll bring that into your life. Well, fashion feng shui borrows those principles and talks about bringing that to your most intimate of environments, which is your body and right. the clothes that you wear and the colors that you wear. Because most people don't realize that what you wear has strong psychological influence on not only how you feel about yourself, but how others perceive and interact with you as well. So what we do in feng shui is help individuals be very mindful and strategic about what they wear so it reflects who they really are their essence as well as their intentions so you think of the law of attraction and things of that nature so sure. what you want to bring to you and also that it flatters you and makes you look amazing yeah. and fabulous absolutely yeah. so you talk about um the certain there are certain types of things to keep in mind and one one is water wood fire earth metal tell yes. me about those yes so we utilize the five natural elemental energies and wed them with the design elements for line color and fabric in that nature and we develop archetypes the founder developed archetypes that will actually describe an individual and that you'll resonate with one or the other so if you're more water or more wood or things of that nature it'll dictate to you or at least help you understand what colors would be best for you what fabrics would be best for you what patterns what silhouettes would be best for your body let's give our audience an example and let's yeah. talk about water first yeah, and tell yeah. me what we're talking about here so water is all about being reflective you think about water is very deep Deep. Um, it's very fluid it changes sure. so it's asymmetrical it's um, shiny it's reflective it's different it's creative it's unique it's intellectual and so when you think of water you want to wear something that's going to be more unique and different and like Megan here for example is a water and she's wearing black and black or deep dark colors are another way that you can really bring in the water element so if that's your style if that's something either you want to bring in more contemplation more deep intellectual engagement or just huh. some peace and quiet yeah. you want to wear grounding colors such as dark deep colors that are reflective of water such as uh, black or a deep navy blue yeah. or things of that nature because that almost looked navy blue to me but yeah. I, I yeah. totally get that yeah. all right let's yeah. talk about wood yeah so wood is the energizer bunny of the elements <laughs> so wood is all about engagement and doing it's really reflective in nature so anything of a natural fabrication denim cotton linen things sure. of that nature things that are going to be comfortable and easy to get on on and off because woods like comfort because they go, 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 go. Right. So something like this uh, dress that we see here demonstrated a denim dress, you know, wood cork heels, I you know, those. a canvas bag, all of things are part of the natural fabrics that you would find in nature and that's really reflective of the wood element. And that says to someone about, what does that say to someone about you? you well, they're usually people who are, you know, competitive, athletic, they're maybe very health conscious. Um, it just says that you're the kind of person that as soon as your feet hit the ground, you are one you're to moving. engage and you're moving and engaging. Okay, let's talk about fire. Yes, yeah, so fire is the party oh, person, if you this. will. Oh, ah, yes. <laughs> I think I'm yes. fire. Yes, I and you, you're, this out. yes, you're, or anything bright and uh -huh. vibrant in color is going to be fire. Um, even your hair, you know, that has some fire energy to it. So these are people who love individuals, love engagement. The animal print. Yes, animal print, reds. Like what I'm wearing today is something that is very fire. So I have a red jacket on, I have animal print I leopard love shoes. This. Shoes. Yes, are they fabulous? Oh, Carol, they are. Those are great shoes. So I'm bringing a little fire because I want to be seen, and I'm out here um, in the media on the show with you. So right. I need to show up a little bit more. So you may want to bring a little fire energy into your life. And that so that you do color that. looks great on you. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank that looks you. awesome. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's talk about Earth then. Yeah. So Earth are our grounded individuals. Earth, when you think about Earth, is really solid. It's stable. It's not going to move. So these are our traditionalists. Sure. Individuals who don't like a lot of change. They like routine, um, but they're also also very nurturing and calming so they're the kind of people you want to be around like Oprah Winfrey is very earth you know
know, yeah, somebody I very can see that. Yeah. yeah. And so things such as plaids, den um, um, tweeds, mustard colors, brown colors, you know, things of a traditional cut and look, those are going to be the fabrications that would translate to the wood, to the earth element, um, which is um, the archetype is called the peacemaker. I love that. And then yeah. metal. And then metal, finally our metal. Metal is all about refinement oh. and elegance. So it is called the perfectionist because they tend to be very meticulous, very organized, um, the ones who get it done if you need things to come to wow. completion. But yeah. they also love aesthetics and beauty. And we have the beautiful Leslie here modeling what would be a metal outfit. So anything that's pastel, like that beautiful pastel moto that she's wearing, right. polka dots are very metal in her um, shirt. And then even her shoes have a little bling. Metal's like a little oh bit of bling. Oh my gosh, look at those right. shoes. Right, so this is how we translate the elements into an outfit that fits an individual. So if you want to bring more refinement and elegance into your life, then you want to incorporate a few more of those attributions or design elements that are attributed to the perfectionist or the metal. Can you be a little bit of earth, a little bit of metal, a little yes. bit of fire? Yes, yes. Actually, what, what we do is we first find your natural essence. And usually it's one thing, but we may have an influencing essence based sure. on our education, our family, our marriage, or things of that nature where we've maybe had to compromise a few things. Right. But usually who we are is our natural essence. So it's one. But we also think about what are our goals and intentions, which may be a totally different element. So then we synchronize all of that and pull that together to create one look for you. Carol, oh, really fascinating. Yes. The book, again, is titled Your Clothes Speak. Image consultant Carol Parker Walsh. Thank you very much. Thank that was you. a lot of fun. Thank Appreciate you. it.